All right, Dr. Harris, I know top health uh, you know, officials from agencies, the CDC, the White House, the FDA, they released uh, you know, information about the effectiveness of the mRNA vaccines and you know, the declines that we're starting to see over time. So talk to me about what this, you know, this starting to change, what, what that's gonna mean for Northwell and, and really getting those vaccines or boosters distributed. Sure, uh, thank you for your question. And as, as Dr. Barrick had uh, spoke about, there is a population of folks who we imagine never achieved the immunity that otherwise healthy people would have achieved with the, with the first two doses of the primary vaccination with either Pfizer or Moderna or with a single dose of Johnson & Johnson. Uh, the Pfizer data has been pretty clear that after a number of months, the effectiveness against all disease, which was around 94, 95%, wanes between 42 and 82%, uh, depending on which studies you're looking at. The third dose for immunocompromised people is expected to bring that up into the high 80s once again. Now, we also know that in even healthy people, we're starting to see a series of breakthrough infections, and that's worrisome. What we have not seen and what we are reassured by is we have not seen an increase, a uh, dramatic increase in hospitalizations or deaths in vaccinated people. That number is predominantly those who are unvaccinated. Uh, in immunocompromised people, even who were vaccinated, the likelihood of getting infected is 85 times higher than even healthy people who are vaccinated. And the likelihood of being hospitalized was 480 times higher. So the third dose is crucial to helping them achieve that level of immunity. And I'm confident that Northwell and our partners have developed the infrastructure and the telecommunications and the bandwidth to be able to reset up um, our vaccination program to accommodate these patients and with the anticipated and hopeful um, response by the community for boosters. All right, Dr. Barakat, do you believe that, you know, getting this, I guess we're going to call this for immunocompromised individuals, a third dose of the vaccine, do you think that's really going to be able to approve their efficacy and really give them an ability to maybe, you know, leave the house and, and have less fear, I guess? Yes, I think for the reasons that Dr. Harris pointed out, that, you know, we are seeing their antibody levels uh, increase, uh, so that should protect them. <clears throat> and one thing that I just want to also point out is, again, when we think of cancer patients, one of the things that we learned very early on in the pandemic was that cancer patients had a higher risk of complications from COVID infections and a higher risk of dying of COVID-19. And the patients that uh, seemed to be the most affected were those with what we call liquid tumors, with uh, diseases like leukemia, lymphoma, what we call, uh, consider hematologic diseases, and also patients with lung cancer. And that seems to make sense because COVID is a disease that obviously affects the lungs. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the pneumonia is one of the biggest problems that we see with COVID infections. So we really uh, worry especially about the patients uh, with liquid tumors or hematologic malignancies and uh, patients with diseases uh, like lung cancer. But absolutely, uh, we need to get all of our patients vaccinated no matter no matter uh, what their status whether they have cancer or not but especially those undergoing recent treatment or active treatment for cancer and we 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 vaccinate patients that are actively being treated what we do is we time the vaccine so that we don't give it the same day that we're administering chemotherapy for example because what you want to be sure of is that you're not uh, seeing a side effect of the vaccine which you're confusing with the side effect of the treatment. Right. So we do actively vaccinate patients who are getting chemotherapy or radiation, but we just stagger the, the timing of the vaccine so it doesn't coincide exactly with the day of treatment.